And welcome back, everybody. Thanks for sticking with us. We're joined by the aforementioned Patrick McGrath and Dave Wood, and they are from the Great American Irish Festival and the Utica St. Patrick's Day Parade. We'll talk about both of those things, but first, welcome both of you. Good to see you. Thank Thanks you, for having Thanks us. For having us. Uh, I mentioned earlier that the uh, Great American Irish Festival is right around the corner, and I wasn't kidding. Literally uh, less than a week at this point. Yeah, yeah. we're yeah. ready for it. We're the, excited. I think the area is ready for it, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. The dates are what? 26, 27, 28. That's Friday, Saturday, and we're and back Sunday. to Sunday. Yeah. Yep. Uh, there was, uh, uh, was it one year or two years, Dave, that uh, you dropped the Sunday? Just one year. Last year, um, we, d we decided that uh, it was maybe best to try it uh, elsewhere, and uh, the public spoke, uh -huh. and uh, they said they <laughs> wanted Sunday back, so we brought it back uh, as a unanimous decision yeah. from the board. Uh, you're going to do a mass in previous years, uh, Patrick. You had a mass down there on, on Sunday. Are you going to do that again? Yes, it is. The AOH Catholic Mass is coming back. It's at 10 o'clock, right, 10 Dave? Yep. Um, Andy Cooney will be there Sorry. with us supplying the music. Uh, do you want to elaborate a little bit yeah, on yeah, Andy no, Cooney? Yeah, Andy Cooney is a world-renowned mm -hmm. uh, singer, um, and we're excited to have him. Uh, we thank the AOH for helping coordinate that as well. Yeah. Um, but and, and then in, in addition to the Mass, he'll also be performing as the first act. After we'll, get into, we'll get into some of those uh, entertainment groups in just a second. For those who don't know where the Great American Irish Festival is, Patrick, it's where? Uh, that is at the fairgrounds in uh, Frankfurt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, that and is it's a pretty nice location, really, when you think about it, uh, Dave. I mean, you're right off of what is that, 5S? 5S. Yep. 5S. Yeah, it's it's a perfect location. Um, the the fairgrounds do a great job uh, in in collaborating with us to set this up. They've done it from day one, so uh, we thank them as much. Uh, yeah. yeah. I should have gotten into this with Peter uh, Patrick, but uh, I'm not sure everybody understands what the uh, organization is here. We're talking mm -hmm. about the Irish Cultural Center, we're talking mm -hmm. about the Great American Irish Festival, we're talking about the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Explain how that all is put together. Yeah, definitely. So the Great American Irish Festival is a festival to raise funds to support culture, music, and it is ultimately part of the St. Patrick's Day Parade. The money that these two organizations make and bring in goes to the Irish Cultural Center to keep um, that moving kind of as a supplemental income. Right. Um, so it's three Irish organizations together in one working for the common goal to, prom to promote uh, the Irish culture in the area. Yeah. And uh, you do that with uh, music and dance at the Great American Irish Festival. Who you got uh, coming in this year, Dave? Oh, sure. We got a great lineup. Uh, we have Enter the Haggis, uh, We Banjo 3. Uh, American Rogues are one of my personal favorites. <laughs> they are uh, good. They're amazing. Uh, Screaming Orphans, obviously we mentioned Andy Cooney on Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, young Dubliners, so uh, they're, they're from a little bit way back in the, in the 90s a little bit, but yeah, they're, right. they're making some... The High Kings will be there oh, High also. Kings, right? yeah. They'll be leading Great the way. Yep. Talking about, uh, wait, there's a group, their name just went out of my mind, that was a favorite of mine for many years they came to the festival. And I think they disbanded. Correct. The elders. The elders. The elders. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the we elders. wish they were uh, coming back, but you know they're doing their thing, and, mm -hmm. and I don't know if they're retired, but they uh, they won't be with us this year. Right. But they're independently successful in their own rights, and not just in music. And uh, I think last year they do woodworking. Or yeah. Something, uh, yeah. Ian does some woodworking and stuff. He does a very really well, jo uh, good job with that. So yeah. um, they kind of just. We're done. They kind of had a, a, lar a long stint and, and then just called it quits. Yeah. So. If they say they want to come back, though. They're always welcome. <laughs> <laughs> come right back. Yeah. 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 Patrick, how many people, uh, you've got the Big Ten. I, I forget, how you, you refer to these different venues in the festival in different ways, but the Big Ten, Sure. what is that called? The main stage? Or That's called the contemporary stage. Contemporary. Right. In there, I mean, I was working outside that stage last year and I just saw a mass of people. Yeah. There was thousands I think oh, at, easily. yeah the whole day and then at night when the headliner comes on it's just unbelievable the amount of people and um, they want to be there they want the loud music and they want the cold beer yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you put so you got the contemporary stage and then you've got a stage down a ways yep. uh, what's that called that is the traditional stage okay so both play their own types of music kind of the louder more um, rocky, Perfect. you would say, progressive yeah, rock, rock, yeah. um, music in the contemporary, and then the traditional, it's uh, a little bit more traditional. I guess yeah. there's no yeah. better way to say it. Yeah. And the, uh, uh, the price, 
day for sure. people to come. Is there a is uh, is there a way you do all three days? Mm -hmm. Is there one yeah. day? How do you do it? Yep. Uh, so before the festival, you can order tickets on GreatAmericanIrishFest.com. Uh, we offer a three-day pass only on the website, and that'll get you in Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, and it's your best deal. It's only thirty-five dollars for all three days, which um, you know you can't beat. Yeah. Uh, individually, if you you know you buy them in advance, you can buy a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday individually. Uh, it's um, fifteen dollars for Friday, eighteen dollars for all day Saturday, or ten dollars for Sunday. Can people just walk up and buy tickets? They can. It's a little bit of a, a, a higher price if they do that. So um, I think. Uh, don't quote me on it. Yeah. I think it's uh, 18 for Friday, 20 for Saturday, and uh, 10 again for Saturday, mm -hmm. Sunday. They had, uh, uh, in previous years, Patrick, they had uh, Irish football. There, there will be the Highland Games, yeah. and that is quite exciting. Uh, even though the music is very loud, you can hear everything going on with the Highland Games. So, <laughs> Lots of um, grunts and yeah, yelling. And yeah, <laughs> all that. And just listen to music, grab some food, go watch some some games and it's we got everything I think there. I don't think we're missing a thing this year. Yeah. The uh, attendance. Uh, this is what year? Uh, 16? I think 16. we're over 15 yeah, at this yeah. point. Over 15. Uh, if you were to chart this, uh, Dave Woods, on a, a, a graph, would you see attendance going like this, like this, like this? Well, it's interesting you um, you, you ask that question. So uh, what I think Pat and I are bringing to the table this year and, and some of the newer board members is uh, getting that kind of detail and data. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, we don't know is the answer. And that mm -hmm. was a big problem as we came on board. We were like, well, wait a second. What do we have to compare to? How do we grow from there? So mm -hmm. uh, we'll have um, better technology this year to kind of track that kind of information. I would say we may have plateaued, but I don't know that for show, sure. Okay. And our goal is to increase. Talking about price, you mentioned the prices. Is there a, a, a fee for parking? No fee for parking. Uh, we do have the Notre Dame ROTC that help us with parking, and they are asking for a dollar donation per car. Um, obviously, it's a donation, um, not required, mm -hmm. but um, we, we highly encourage it. Yeah, and the, uh, uh, the people that come over there in previous years, Patrick, uh, some of them have wanted to camp. Is that still going on? Absolutely. You, yeah. can, uh, you can still camp. You can have a tent. You can have a camper. Um, I think, is there anything else? There's yeah, there's, there's, so we call it wet camping and dry camping, so, um, and then as well as tenting. So if you have an RV, there are, you know, only limited amount of spots where you can actually have a, a hookup. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you don't have a hookup, we do have access to water and, and, and you can run a generator a couple of days uh, or a couple times throughout the day. Uh, and we call that dry camping and then tent camping. Well, speaking of wet camping, <laughs> what happens uh, when it rains? Well, that's a great question. I'm glad you uh, asked it because we have tents. The entire place is covered. I mean, getting from maybe one venue to the other, you just wait for a break in the rain clouds and come on, you know, move on to the next spot. But um, yeah, everything's covered. So rain or shine, we're having mm -hmm. this this party and it's going to be a great time. We pray no yeah. rain. <laughs> yeah. Please, no rain. There's well, so you and fun. a lot of other special events uh, during yeah, the sure. summer here pray yeah. for that. In addition to the uh, music, Patrick, there is uh, also uh, a building filled with vendors. Yes. So if you want anything Irish, uh, from rings to sweaters to kilts, to anything, mm -hmm. you can go there. There's plenty of vendors that have anything to offer Irish. Yep. Um, bring some extra money with you and take home some good items, such yeah. as Believe even me. hockey jerseys, yeah. I think yeah. they had Believe me, that's good advice, bring some extra money with you. <laughs> I wish I'd have brought a little bit more last year. <laughs> the, um, uh, there's also, uh, last year there was a parade through the grounds. Correct. Yeah. Every year we hold, uh, at five o'clock on Saturday, we hold the uh, mast uh, pipe band march uh, so it actually circles the entire uh, venue every uh, pipe band that uh, participates in the competition on saturday at noon i believe it starts mm. uh, continues on and then at five o'clock they just march it's it's all the music stops everything stops mm -hmm. all the activities just stop and it's an amazing sight to see i just got chills thinking yeah about it. It, it really <laughs> is just unbelievable yeah. speaking of uh, parades uh, patrick how did uh, utica's uh, saint patrick's day parade this year fair? I think everyone had a blast in the city. Um, it's a great event that brings the community together right on Genesee Street. Um, the Great American Irish Festival is responsible for the parade, like I said. Uh, it takes a lot of planning. 
this year I think was one of our, our best years. Absolutely. And we're, we're going to go into next year hoping to give a little bit back to the community and get more and more folks to have entrance into the parade. Right. I mm -hmm. think we're at 100 and... Maybe 20. 120. We want this parade to be huge. We want it yeah. bigger and better every year. We want to be on par with New York City one day. <laughs> oh, <that's a laughs> we have ambitions. That's a and good <laughs> ambition. I mean, we have something as big as the Boilermaker here in Utica, so let's, why not make right. our parade yeah. as big yeah. as something yeah. I'll like see that. you guys uh, soon. Great yes. American Irish Festival coming up 26th, 27th, and 28th of July mm -hmm. at the Herkimer County Fairgrounds. That's it for us this week. We'll be back next week. Until then, take care of yourself, everybody. Thanks, Joe.